Hello, and welcome to me and Henry's presentation on, on drones and how they work. So, you may ask, what is a drone? Well, actually, there are two different types of drone. A drone, aka a UAV, and a quadcopter. Let me tell you the difference. Drones is used borderly to describe any kind of UAV. These aircraft generally look like a helicopter or a small airplane, but can come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and styles. Drones can be utilized to deliver attacks and conduct surveillance for military. Now, let me tell you the difference between that and a quadcopter. Quadcopters are the type of drones that offer different drone experiences. Many people simply fly their drones and take pictures from above. Quadcopters are regularly less heavier than larger and faster drones. So the difference between a drone and a quadcopter, a drone, aka a UAV, are used for military purposes. Quadcopters is what we use to take pictures and videos from above to get a better angle. Now, let me tell you the history of drones. Engineers developed quadcopters to solve problems that helicopter pilots had with making vertical flights. The first quadcopters was made in the 1920 by a man named of Antonini Omichi. This aircraft flew a record distance of 360 meters and made over 1,000 successful flights. Drones and quadcopters have a rich history. With the help of advanced computer technology and engineering, they have developed in stunning ways. Technology has advanced quadcopters dramatically. In the past decades, companies like DJ Inventions, Parrot, Blade, and Helimax have launched many quadcopters that use a state-of-the-art computer technology for flight control and aerial photography. This is a drone. Drones consist of four rotors. Rotors are motors on the drone with propellers attached to each one. The way drones fly has to do with gravity. When a drone is hovering in the air without moving at all, the force of gravity pulling the drone down is at an equilibrium with the force of the propellers and bringing the drone up. When you press the up button on the controller, the rotors spin faster, causing the thrust to be higher than the force of gravity pulling the drone down. This happens the same with pulling the drone down. When you put the down button on the controller, the rotors spin slower, causing the gravity to be higher than the thrust pulling the drone up. This causes it to lower from the air. The propellers on the back, right, and front left move in a clockwise direction, and the other propellers move in a counterclockwise direction, thus keeping the drone steady. When a drone turns, two of the diagonal motors slow down, whilst the others speed up. This causes the drone to spin in the yaw axis. When you want a drone to move forward and you press the forward button on the controller, the propellers in the back part of the drone slow down while the propellers in the front speed up. Based on that, you could guess how the drone goes backwards. When you want a drone to move side to side, the propellers on one of the sides slow down while the propellers on the other side speeds up. Let's see this thing in action. Over the years, computer technology has advanced drones so much. You can take a look at new drone technology and think of some futuristic stuff from a movie. Look at first person view drones. FPV drones are racing drones that do not have any sensors on it. So you are able to make quick maneuvers, fly upside down, do flips, and fly in tight spaces. And best of all, it has a camera that transmits live video feed to a radio headset. So when you wear the headset, you can see what the drone sees and it feels like you are flying in the drone. Another example of advanced drone technology is DJI's new advanced AI capabilities. They have new enterprise drone models that have 55 minutes of ongoing flight time, AI capabilities, six different sensors. These sensors can scan the place for people with thermal video technology. It can also scan for things that you were about to hit and dodges them. This drone can travel up to nine miles away. 
Although this drone is mainly meant for first responders and construction projects, it can really show you how important drones are to science and what science can do to drones. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope that you have learned a lot about drones. Here are some of the sources that we have used for our presentation.